Within the scope of the application start method, we set the routings we want to have in our web application. Uh, the first argument is just a name, so we can keep all settings organized. And then, here you can see the pattern. Every request to a URL address of this pattern will be transferred to this ASPX web page. If we check the ASPX web page code behind, we shall see how we can extract the past the parameter and use it in our code. Let's try to execute and see how does it work. So in order to see the root thing in action I can for example write course slash and the number of course and then when the request is sent to the server um, the request is transferred to course.aspx web page where the course ID parameter is extracted.